congratulations. So Thank you. I've been seeing all your posts and I haven't seen them yet. No, your posts the posts that you've been doing daily. All right. So yes. can I just ask? Uh, I'm sure pinag-isipan mo ng gusto ang pagsali sa mission. So, of course. So what what was your thought process, decision making process that you went through before deciding mm -hmm. talaga sa sali ka? Well, the first thing that really crossed my mind was that for sure. I will regret it if I don't try a last time because this is my final round in Thai, right? Because I'm e I'm nearing the age limit already. Okay. And my thought process then in in coming up with my decision, I talked about it with my parents. I talked about it with my Aces and Queens family here in Manila, and I told them I feel like there's so much more growth that I can undergo here. There's so much more I can do, and if I'll be given the chance to represent the Philippines, that would just be an ambition turned to reality. So I told myself, if I'm already feeling this this way, and if there's so many people who support me, what the hell am I waiting for? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask you. So you talk to your Aces and Queens family, your family. So I'm sure marami kang kinausap, no? Yes. And uh, so it was really matagal naman ang decision that you were going to join. Definitely, it wasn't a last minute. I arrived a bit late, but it wasn't a last minute decision. <laughs> so given, you know, we have a new owner in the Miss Universe yes. and, you know, a lot of new things. I mean, what, I mean, did you, how, are you preparing yourself differently? I'm really now also focusing more on the transformational aspect here. Not just being a transformational leader for others, but also someone who can, through this journey, become transformed herself. Mm, okay, so seeing that they're looking for a transformational leader, uh, what can you offer? Okay, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll yes, tell you yes, now already. Yeah, a little I, bit. I never saw myself as a leader in high school and college for those extracurricular activities. I would always pass out and just focus on what I had to do and that was to get good grades. So I never saw myself as a leader. But then last year I was voted or elected as the president of JCI Chocolate Hills, which is, and JCI is actually a youth leadership development program here in the Philippines, but also internationally. Okay, and what So it what forced me to step up because we have to create projects that would create a positive impact in communities. We're a group that really analyzes what the community needs and then comes up with the project plan and then also reaches out to stakeholders. Is that based in Bohol? It's, uh, my chapter is based in Bohol, yes. But they have chapters all over the Philippines. And that particular aspect where you have to be the president or the leader of the chapter was such a step up for me. And I already feel like I've grown so much in the past few months. Nice. So that's something extra or something new this year. I guess you've been, how many Miss Universe, how many? How two many? editions yeah, already. Two already, yes. So these are third. You look, you know, more calm or relaxed. Thank you. Know, but, um, <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> So, what are you? What, what else can we expect from you on the? Well, tomorrow is the the finals. Yeah, the finals. The finals. And, and, uh, what are you gonna? What else are you gonna do different? For the I really want to focus on a very holistic approach. I know that a lot of people remember me as a good speaker, yes. but this time I also want to be good or better in all the other aspects of pageantry as well. So that, without question, when I win. <laughs> when I win, <laughs> there would be no questions from people and they would also rally for me as I hopefully get to represent the Philippines. Nice. So I'm sure you watched the Miss Universe pageant. What was your takeaway from, you know, from what, from the latest New Orleans event? Oh, I just want to say once again, Telesa, I'm so proud of you. She did amazing. Mm -hmm. right? She did so well. And when it comes to the winner, Arbini, I also, since she's also half Filipino, I also yeah. really look up to her now. And what she said during her final Q&A, or what she said about her wanting the age limit to be increased, right, right. really resonated with me. So yeah. I'm so happy that she brought that up. And I can only hope that perhaps the new management of the Miss Universe organization might consider, might consider that so that more women might find the empowerment that they need in the pageantry platform, even if they have exceeded the age limit already. Wow, so you're starting now, you're ano, prep for April, yes. right? Yes, of course. Well, well, na, na. Yes, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you in all the events. <laughs> Three is Emmanuel. Yes, hello, Emmanuel. Yes, oh, I'm doing yeah. my work. 
Yeah, it's good to see you. I'm good. I'm excited. You look stunning. What made you decide to join Miss Universe? Well, I'm joining Miss Universe, going aiming for Miss Supranational. Mm -hmm. So I'm 28 years old, and unfortunately, I've aged out of Miss Universe for now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I really did want to do another pageant after my international pageant stint. Yeah. And you know, that was my first time. I felt like I was a little bit raw. So now, with mm -hmm. my experience that I've gained and a renewed excitement to do this, I'm hoping that I can bring home another crown for the Philippines. So can you tell me what did you? do to I'm sure you wanted to level up and improve yourself in every aspect what yes. would they be well just a lot of training I feel like life experience is also very good for preparation mm -hmm. and so with everything that I've learned and all the training that I put in um, I feel like I'm more prepared this time around nice super exciting you look gorgeous thank you huh? took a lot of work <laughs> <laughs> can you take a picture on Philippines, what inspired you to join the competition? Well, first of all, all the queens before me that represent the Philippines, I would love to be just like them and inspire other girls like they've inspired me. Mm -hmm. And um, also my advocacy is for child sexual abuse and sexual abuse as well because it's something that I have been through. And uh, since it's about advocacy a lot this year, I really know that I can make a difference. And I didn't want to miss opportunity. I'm also 27. <laughs> so tell us about yourself. You, uh, where did you grow up? Where you're from? Your background? Um, so I'm actually from Indianapolis, Indiana. So oh. a small place. Well, the suburbs of Indianapolis in America. And okay. my family's from Cebu Province. But you grew up in the U.S. Yeah. And then I first visit here in 2019. Okay. But I knew I wanted to live here. So and you've been living here since 2019. Actually, no. I got stuck here in 2020 during the pandemic, but I just came back last year because I have all my documents and I've always wanted to live here. So. Nice. So what excites you about the prospect of winning the Miss Universe crown? Just knowing, actually, I have a nine-year-old sister and we're actually 18 years and one day apart. So when she was born, I felt kind of like a second mom to her and I want to inspire her and children like her and just anyone, really. I just want to shine a light and be inspiring, you know. Nice. Share but you're um, not long. Sorry. <laughs> kunti lang, kunti lang. <laughs> Is that your boyfriend? Yes, you can uh, tell. Of course. That's a boyfriend because he's he was he was smiling while taking videos. <laughs> Of course, you need a good support system, yeah. right? So he and he's okay with you joining? Are you okay yes. with you? Yes, you are, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, all the best. Do you have a favorite Filipina beauty queen? Okay. I love Chilesne and I like Beatrice Luigi Gomez. Yeah, they're my favorite. Sounds good. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So one of the I have a key then. Oh, it goes rushing when they pass, pass lang. Okay. So no, one of the candidates for Miss Universe Philippines is uh, Eileen, and I hear that you're a single mom. Yes, I am. Can you tell me about like how old is your son or daughter? Yes, I have a baby boy. He's turning six years old actually on April, and we share the same birthday. Wow! Okay, so you must have been so happy when the MEO announced that yes, women with children. I am very, huh? very happy and excited. I immediately called Tito Rogel and then we already plotted for everything. And then the next day I started my training. Wow, so like the training. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is uh, the advantage of being a single mom mm -hmm. in joining the Miss Universe competition? Um, I believe it's because I have the first hand experience of being a mother, of course, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's it. <laughs> the first hand experience 
Okay, and uh, so how will where will you have your child while you're training? Oh kasama -sama mo palagi. Um, I'm grateful that I have a good co-parenting situation with the father of my kids. So while I'm doing trainings and hopefully mm -hmm. maging candidate, okay, okay. kukunin nila. So we will take. Well, manonood ba your your anak mo sa? Of course, manonood. Nice. <laughs> very, very exciting. Huh? Yes. Okay. Thank you. My stylist is. Say with me, Diane. Yeah. Alfie Oli Sarah. Ganda mo, grabe. So who was your Miss Universe pet idol? Who do you like? It's Katrina. Katrina. So the answer is that we're going to have to wait for him. Tapos malaysia. Ano yung sinasabi ko? Ano yung sinasabi ko? Ano yung sinasabi ko? Ano yung sinasabi ko? Hi, Ava. I'm so happy. Wow. So, what made you decide to join Miss Universe Philippines? It's because of my advocacy. It's like a local charity to empower children in the landfill. Can you explain that to us? Well, the local charity, formerly a small program founded in 2019, is a non-profit, non-governmental, and community-driven. A humanitarian organization and which is based in Urdan at the city of Pangasinan. Mm, Pangasinan pala. Yeah. So, ano sa palaging mo yung mga qualities na kailangan mong uh, may pakita to be able to win the crown? Except you're going for the Miss Universe crown. I think it, uh, it's the intention. It's my intention, pure intention, joining this uh, Miss Universe Philippines for my charity to help. I want to spread love, to bring smile and hope to the children. Oh, that's nice. So you, you're from Pangasinan? Yes. Yeah. Pangasinan. So, lagi ka nanonood ng Miss Universe? Uh, may time po na hindi ako nakapanood. Napapanood ko na lang siya after the competition. So, meron ka mga mga favorite na mga My most favorite natin? talaga is Pia uh, and Katreo. Okay. Pero sino yung yes, nagtitrain yeah. sa'yo? Guiding you? Um, my uh, daddy Rian Fernandez. Ah. Wow, so sigurado stunning your gown. Ala arbony ang gown. Yes. <laughs> huh? Adapt the chill ako nila dadid here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. nice. They'll be here by 20th this month. Wow, I'm excited to see your evening gown. So you're happy about yung performance ni arbony, siyempre. Super. Nanunod po kaming apat. Sabi namin, dati ito na yung time. Dati ito na yung feeling na namin ito na yung dati. Tapos nung lumabas yung gown. Sobrang kumikin ang si Arboni. Yeah. Tapos yung aura, yung lakad niya. Tapos yung gown kumikin ako sabi na. Tapos umiiyak na kami kasi na-feel na, na namin na dati siya na talaga yung magiging Miss Universe. Wow. Ngayong taon. Tapos yun nga po, nung ano, na-announce siya yung nanalo. Kaya sobrang happy kami. Kasi pangarap din yun nila dati rin yun. Yes, congratulations to him. And good luck. Good luck. We'll be watching your journey.